I have to say, it's a bit unfortunate we have to start 2019 with such a negative, crappy story, but on a more positive note to start, Happy New Year to everyone. And right now, there is a massive scam that is going on by an ex-CSGO gambling website that YouTube superstars Rice Gum and Jake Paul are promoting to their child fan bases. So a little backstory before we get to this slimy website and the even more pathetic YouTubers. Years ago, a game called Counter-Strike Global Offensive, or CSGO, introduced, or well, really started the skins gambling market. Pretty much CSGO, a multiplayer shooter video game, allowed players to buy keys to unlock cases, which included skins for weapons that varied in value from one cent to thousands of real world dollars. As H3H3 perfectly put it, When you compare opening a crate in CSGO, it looks almost identical to an online slot machine. The only difference is that you have to be over the age of 21 or people will go to prison. Opening crates? <laughs> Everybody's welcome. Kids invited. But essentially, Valve, the developer publisher of the game, left a door wide open, allowing these skins to move out of Steam and onto gambling sites, where these skins were used as currency. The CSGO gambling mess really started to fall apart when two YouTubers, T. Martin and Pro Syndicate, played on a gambling website called CSGO Lotto and did not disclose that they owned the website, and they actually pretended in videos that they just found it randomly. This would lead to a few lawsuits thrown at T. Martin and Pro Syndicate, as well as Valve. And I will say that Valve clearly was complicit in this whole mess, even though they denied wrongdoing, but eventually they were forced into taking action, which they did in 2016, shutting down many of these websites with C and Ds. Since then, there have been further adjustments to the game, pretty much killing CSGO's skin gambling market, although it appears some websites still are somehow operating. But let's finally get to mysterybrand.net, the evolution of the CSGO gambling websites. In recent days, YouTubers Ricegum and Jake Paul multi-million subscriber channels have promoted this gambling website to their audiences, which is mainly made up of children. YouTuber Keemstar also admitted on Twitter he was offered $100,000 to make a YouTube video promoting this website. So more than likely, Ricegum and Jake Paul were given the same offer and accepted. But first, let me show you some clips from these YouTube videos so you get an understanding of what they did. So me and Mystery Brand actually teamed up if you don't know what it is. Basically, it's a site that has a ton of these like random mystery box, like right here he has like a Yee and supreme and like technology like smartphone one I don't know I guess you buy a mystery box you open it and you get like one random either dope item or bad item it's like a mystery it's a surprise right I want you guys to go to mysterybrand.net right now and play this game and tell me and tweet me or something if you guys win this okay because like I want someone to win something amazing like any sponsorship it's pretty typical both videos are the same in style and as you'll see in a second they both win amazing valuable items they show off the main features of the site show off their items being delivered just days later and tell their audiences to go and visit the website. But let's keep going. Come on. Bruh, I just got the handbag. Yo, that's a $10,000 handbag. I'm about to sell it. Yo, $10,000. Yo, I'm about to sell it back. Rapid fire. Here we go. Boom. Come on. Yeezy Boost 350 semi-frozen yellow. What the? Look at that, baby. Look at that drip. I'm getting lucky. I'm getting lucky now. I'm on fire. This site's crazy. I don't know whoever made this site, but you're for ah crap. Uh, whoever made this site, you're a freaking genius. Please, mystery box. Yo, alright, listen, listen. These shoes are like a thousand dollars, right? I can sell it back for five hundred, so like it's a profit. No way is this real right now. Are you seeing this, Ari? I'm seeing it, and there's one right here. I like, bro. They're actually here. Yeah, not bad. So yeah, guys, if you guys want to try out the mystery box, first link in the description, you already know. I remember getting this. I forgot how much I paid again, but I remember getting this. This site is crazy. More oh. the lime green. The lime green. Now, something that I found strange is that at one point in Jake Paul's video, he has no money in his account, but yet next scene, he opens a $100 box. And later in the video, he opens a box that changes from purple to red rarity while he's opening it. There certainly could just be some edits, but just kind of odd. So what is Mystery Brand and what is the problem? Hopefully from those small clips, you got at least a brief idea, but judging by uh, what you're seeing on the screen, a lot of people are getting crap, like uh, chargers, fidget spinners, and just cheap products that only cost a couple 
couple dollars. Now, another issue that has spawned that a lot of people are talking about is many of the items actually aren't being shipped. These YouTubers got their items, but the average Joe is not, which shouldn't be a surprise with a scam website, but we'll, we'll get to that in a second. But pretty much you open up these items. The first one on the website is a woman's Christmas box, and if you click on it, you have a chance for the most expensive Los Angeles, I guess, house valued at $250 million because that makes perfect sense. There's also a Lamborghini, there's a bunch of other cars, there's expensive watches, purses, shirts, all kinds of a designer products. And then you can actually create your own box and you can see the value of some of these other items. There's trips to uh, Las Vegas, I guess that's valued at $56,000. A lot of these prices don't make any sense and it calls into question how is this even profitable. The thing is, once you deposit money and you actually are starting to open these boxes, you can't withdraw any of the money, only thing you can do is actually open more boxes and hope to get a really cool item that probably won't be shipped to you. In recent days, there's actually been some major adjustments to this website as some people have been calling it a scam. Like for one, there used to be odds for a lot of these items. That has now been taken offline and you can no longer see what the odds are. A lot of these items, like the mansion, is at valued at like 0.0001% chance and I'm sure it's almost impossible to get that and even if you did, you're, you're not getting it. It's just used there for marketing purposes and we'll get to that in a second because a lot of their social media accounts are actually flaunting this type of stuff like you can get a brand new Lamborghini that ain't happening and if you actually head to the top wins part of this page you can see who's depositing the most money you have somebody who's deposited over six thousand dollars and judging by the activity on this website people are falling for this scam now if you head over to their social media accounts their Instagram Facebook or their Twitter you'll see a lot of people posting below saying that this is a scam like if you head over to their Instagram account they just have a bunch of random photos that they put up there of items that you could win on the website and then usually on a lot of these posts you have people complaining that they are not receiving their items surprise surprise and it seems here on Instagram this is the only place where they're really responding like you have one post coming from mystery brand official the account it says hello we are not a scam you can kindly check our third-party reviews with thousands of satisfied customers that is now offline just a note uh, you can also see our top users on our page who have won great items with us furthermore we only work with G2A to make sure you have secure transactions kind regards Tim Perk and that seems to be an alias but again we'll get to that later but there's a lot of this they just kind of copy and paste a lot of these responses to those calling it a scam and them not receiving their items they also blame it on this being a busy part of the season so they are having trouble getting orders out but there's many users reporting that they've waited months and received nothing and if you actually check where these items are being sent I guess it's all from China uh, under their frequently asked questions part it says track your items when our parcel gives our track number you can easily track it using these services 17track.net, trackitonline.org, package, radar.com slash China, aftership.com slash courier slash China post, and a lot of these items, I guess apparently the tracking orders are just going to done and people aren't actually receiving their items, and the support of this website are not answering. Now this is not for everybody, obviously you've seen those YouTubers receive their items and there are some receiving them, but many are not. But for a good scam to work, this website has to deliver on the cheap products, probably coming from China, that's probably where the fidget spinners are made and then obviously the YouTube superstars they got to deliver on what they are promoting for them it all has to look like it is legit which clearly is not the case but to backtrack a little bit to how this website accepts money technically it uses a loophole to accept most of the major ways so you can deposit money it goes through G2A only in which G2A allows you to use MasterCard Visa and other payment methods to deposit money onto this website this is the only way that money can be transferred. And something I found really interesting is that really the only few Reddit posts on mysterybrand.net are full of fake accounts. Like on this one specific Reddit thread which is questioning the validity of the website, if it's a scam or not, there's a few accounts on here calling it not a scam and they're just recently made and with no other posts and that's it, just saying no, it's not a scam, I actually received my brand new PC yesterday. Anyway, this is just the start of the problems, like other than the website not having any names of any individuals on there. 
on the Instagram account, you have Tim Perk, and there's also just a random Jeff thrown in there on the bio. I don't really understand that. That's very weird. But another Twitter user actually dug a little deeper, Joe Queef, and he actually found some very startling information. Now, if you remembered earlier, I mentioned that the reviews and all that stuff is no longer online. Well, this was all going through GTA, and if you actually went to GTA and went to Mystery Brand's account, you could find that they have a long history. The website has only been up for a number of months. I believe it began in April of 2018 and it only really picked up later in the year but their account stretches back a few years and it actually links to many other websites including gabekeys.net, g4drop.com, topcscar.com, tradebot.top, galaxydrop.top, epic-drop.top, and obviously mysterybrand.net. And the interesting thing is many of these websites were for CSGO and if you actually check the design of one of them, g4drop.com, it looks like Mystery Brand is just a reskin of that website. And furthermore, if you actually check the terms of service for the website, they're actually the identical same thing to G4 Drops terms of service. And interestingly, the last part on Mystery Brand mentions that these terms are interpreted and are subject to the jurisdiction and the laws of Poland, but the website appears to be a United States domain, so there's just many questions regarding who's the actual owner and who's running this website. And actually, taking a second look at G4 Drops Terms of Service, the ending part, again, it's identical to Mystery Brand, but there is one difference. The location is not Poland, which I kind of find suspicious. It seems that whoever runs this website, like I said before, before, is going to great lengths to try and hide where they're located for some reason. But to add on to this, the thing is about this Twitter user who found this, as soon as he made this information public on Twitter, mysterybrand.net took the GTA account offline and people can no longer see their history and see the negative reviews that they got and their long history linking them to many other websites that were all scams. And that's actually not me just saying that, many YouTubers have talked about all the websites that I just listed off a second ago before. like. G4 drop that was outed by PSI Syndicate uh, years ago. Now I'm going to be honest here, awareness needs to be raised for this situation because it looks like thousands and actually millions of children have been exposed to this. And judging by the activity on the website, it looks like the scam is working. Now as much as everyone is crapping on this website like they should, those promoting it deserve to get called out just as much. I find it unacceptable that channels with millions of subscribers that know their audience is made up of children would promote this gambling scam. With maybe 10 to 20 minutes of research, they would have found that this website website is extremely suspect, and yes, they had their orders fulfilled, but I seriously believe that the owners of this website made sure their orders would be completed and their account would have some huge wins or rare items. Point being, I believe their accounts are rigged to win. I understand what their defense will be that they didn't know, but they should know. We saw all the YouTubers being called out for promoting better help just a few months ago, and right now, I don't really hear much about these YouTubers' actions. This is a serious issue and problem on this platform. It seems that companies who can give the highest amount of cash can compromise these creators. They don't care. They have no integrity. This situation shows that Jake Paul and Ricegum are not just these dumb, annoying creators that children love, but dangerous morons that may have just destroyed the lives of many of their fans. In the past, I used to take up sponsorships with a few mobile games and apps. I personally regret doing them now and have stopped. I still get offers on a daily basis asking me to promote Fallout 76 bottle cap selling websites but I don't do any of them because I actually care about the games or products that I talk about and promote. These YouTubers though, I don't think they care at all. Any adult with any sort of decency should know that these websites are psychologically manipulative and most harmful for kids. This is the real dangers of loot boxes. Yes, this is different than the loot boxes that were in Star Wars Battlefront 2 and are in many mobile games, but the feature and the manipulation is the same. This website targeted these specific creators because they know that these younger audiences are the best for engagement and will eat up whatever they are told. This is why regulation will and needs to come to loot box mechanics. We've seen the numerous reports over the years of kids spending thousands of dollars on card packs in FIFA, and I've already seen a few younger people claim they've spent hundreds of dollars on this website and have received nothing, some of them actually coming in Jake Paul's comment section. So over
overall, there are really three main concerns here. You have YouTubers promoting a gambling website to kids, you have a reskinned CSGO gambling website, and a suspect company that appears to mostly not deliver on prizes. This screams as a massive scam. Anyway, what do you guys make of Mystery Brand and the YouTubers promoting them? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, but thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and consider subscribing for more videos like this, and I'll see you later.